Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to the epic traders market recap recording this is episode one each week I'm going to be producing two to three such recordings which will email directly to you where I'll be covering day and swing trading trading tips ideas strategies and trader psychology using NLP techniques it's applicable for all traders and all markets so I promise you that I'll be giving you enormous value as you watch these sessions I'm I love trading I'm passionate about trading and I just want to get across to you my 24 plus years experience and I want feedback from you as you implement some of the ideas and techniques I want to know how you're going now very very important traders as we get underway with this session is this love me hate me or you're indifferent towards me put all this aside as my job as your trading coach is to help you get to epic day or swing trading status just that one idea concept or strategy may have a huge impact on your trading career so here's what I need you to do is that please take notes during these training sessions continually asking yourself what can I learn from this how can I use this what's great about this how can I improve this notice those sort of questions are what I call constructive compelling questions so many traders are always um, structuring questions such as why do I fail at this why don't I get this why isn't this working for me totally wrong we're gonna be talking a lot about this in future sessions because trading truly is 90% psychology I can show you literally dozens of trading systems and strategies that do work I've got to tell you that right now there are dozens but the person that lets them down continually is you the trader or I we need to work harder on ourselves than what we do on our trading systems and our strategies so very very important is this I don't care if you don't like me I'm sorry but I really don't what's important to me is to deliver enormous value we can pick up ideas and go wow this is making a fantastic or a huge difference to my trading that's what's important for me now as we get underway you must understand the risk um, if you're a current member uh, of course of the day traders fast track program you see this on every one of our recordings if you're new to my videos uh, please pause the video and read the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading secondly if you haven't subscribed to my channel to be kept up to date with my videos as I mentioned this is episode one I'll be producing two to three of these sessions each and every week so it's really designed to give you an ongoing education so please uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel even better still visit my website where you'll be able to find out more about the day traders fast track program I'm not going to turn these into a great big advertisement so you can pause that have a read of this uh, please if you haven't requested my free training manual visit my website and uh, the download link is in the description below and request my training manuals they're free as well that's it let's now get into the content of this video traders over 80 percent of the traders I'm now dealing with I thought it was somewhere around 70 percent but it's actually over 80 percent of the traders I deal with now are experienced traders that is I've tried to have blown your accounts one three five times uh, perhaps they've burnt themselves spent thousands of dollars on education and it hasn't worked for them I've got to say this don't let the shadow of your past hold your future hostage one of the biggest challenges I face as a trading coach is dealing with the psychological damage caused by previous trading endeavors and it's true if you're a brand new trader um, uh, you'll be amazed at how much psychological damage blowing your account does two or three or four times uh, you'd start to develop and uh, self-trust um, you have incredible doubt it, it just causes all sorts of issues therefore if that is you if you've had this issue in the past what I want to say is this I need you to look at your past trading experiences as part of your trading education it's called a reframe rather than look at it and keep building yourself up about it I want you to turn around and reframe it and say I'm going to learn from this uh, it's just part of the education I'm going to draw a line in the sand and move forward now over this series of videos I'm going to be sharing with you the results of a search of my search for the Holy Grail 
there are some strategies that I won't fully disclose only my members will get hold of but I'm going to give you still enormous value uh, in what I deliver here it's the results of my 24 plus years of research and development and trading as I say traders my videos are all real unedited uh, and direct uh, they're unscripted so yes I might fluff up something because I say it at times I'll get a word wrong but hey approach this with the mindset of what can I learn from here how can I use this it's so important I have in the thousands of members now around the world and I deal with traders each and every day besides trading every day um, I've just got a huge amount of knowledge I want to get across to you it is so important that this starts to seep in this is a journey that most day and swing traders travel they go out there and buy every trading system and strategy I want to save you time money and energy and frustration um, keep your money in your account for your trading account there is no need to go and spend tens of thousands of dollars and, and literally some traders do spend in the many thousands of dollars as I have now I've been in a fortunate position financially to be able to do this I have a massive library I've got uh, I've had full-time employees just doing research full-time prop traders working for me so I've got all of this experience and so I've been up to draw upon that so I um, been able to I've been able to say look I want you to go and back test this over five years and come back with a report and so they'd write the code and go and back test a strategy or a methodology or code it for me so I've had that flexibility and this is what I'm bringing to the table in this session and sharing a lot of this not all of it but a lot of this information with you now this is very important traders I don't claim to be the inventor of most of my trading strategies or techniques in fact it is said to take everything out of one book is plagiarism to take it out of 20 books is a research is research I am that researcher as Gant famously once quoted there's nothing new under the Sun and when it comes to trading I don't think any true words have ever been spoken I have I have however let me I'm reading straight off this slide here have however fine-tuned and tailored these strategies and techniques to suit today's fast-moving markets the trading style of today's day and swing traders now when it comes to a lot of the strategies and ideas that I sh share with you we're going to be talking about traders personalities in the next couple of episodes um, and we'll talk about what time frame will suit you what are the best time frames for day and swing traders what are the best chart types so we'll be covering those in the next couple of episodes but what I did want to get across to you is I have literally dozens of folders on research reports on trading systems uh, advanced get wolf wave there's just dozens of them I've flown around the world numerous times to attend courses you name it I've probably already bought it or, or own it I've I actually bought out a uh, a data firm going back to you was what is it 15 16 years ago we used to provide data to stock traders and uh, so I bought this firm out and we actually had this massive traders library where we used to lend our members uh, books out of a library um, you know, that just gave me access to hundreds of books which I still own so what I'm getting across to you is I'm drawing on very very deep resources here and sharing a lot of this information with you now I need to get this across to really it's to all traders is that every professional was once a student every expert was once an amateur and every master was once a beginner some of the information may overwhelm you as we go through this series uh, however just sit back and take notes and you'll have what I call aha experiences and I think that really leads you really leads us really well into this next slide so this is typically what I have in front of me when I'm trading I have uh, three or four spiral plastic books here uh, plastic sleeve books with my chart patterns uh, uh, and, and really trading traders is a pattern solving exercise there are geometric patterns that appear in the market every hour on every time frames the markets are of a fractal nature so what appears on say a 500 tick chart will appear on a one hour chart maybe slightly different structured but very very similar and so all time frames and all um, uh, market types have patterns appear 
I have uh, my trading rules in the middle there you can see the fold if it's open there a couple of yellow tabs there they're my rules what am I looking for I've got them and quite frankly um, you can't really hone in on it but it says do I have do I have this pattern do I have this appear do I have a super scalper plot and so I'm consistently or constantly reviewing my trading rules and on the right is perhaps one of the most important things there I want to get across to you now is as we go through these trading training videos I want you to take notes if I say something pause the video if you need to jot it down and so what I'll do is as I trade each and every day I take copious notes if I notice a pattern because trading is about a it's a pattern solving exercise and once you master those patterns uh, you see them each and every day multiple times but I'm also going to be giving you a lot of miscellaneous tips that I promise you will make an enormous impact to your trading here's what I know successful trading is a game of probabilities the market has a memory and patterns repeat themselves each and every day now over the years now I have dozens of these notebooks and I think at last count I had 47 of these notebooks and so as I trade I take notes if I see a pattern I'll print it out I have um, files on my computer uh, called and I call the file charts and I'll take a screenshot of a chart or a pattern and I'll review those charts and what you'll discover traders is that mastering the art of swing or day trading it's about modeling what other traders are doing so I'm going to share with you a lot of the techniques I use but what a lot of other master traders do you see someone once said to me that trading is actually quite easy well if it's so easy why doesn't every trader succeed as a day or swing trader it's because of this traders the easy things are also easy not to do successful traders are willing to do the things that unsuccessful traders won't do let me say that again successful traders do the things that unsuccessful traders won't do such as reviewing their notes having a trading plan this is basic ABC stuff I know but hey this is the most of a type of things that you know where traders are not willing to do they want to take shortcuts and traders some of you may even be watching this and I've emailed you back and I may have come across as being rude I've traders email me with questions each and every day which I welcome but some of them just ask silly questions you know can I earn 500 a day um, can you guarantee I can earn 500 a day well the answer is categorically not yes you can earn the 500 but can I guarantee it no because it comes down to you the trader is it possible you betcha it is and a whole lot more that's one thing about trading you can write your own paycheck but what you've got to do is be willing to put the work in and that is why we discovered or we know that only 5% of traders actually succeed as traders because the other 95% are not willing to put the work in because if you think about it anywhere that with anyone with a thousand two three four thousand dollars can go and open up a trading account and they expect that it's a fast track to riches but of course most of them will blow that money because they have unrealistic expectations you can definitely get there you can join the 5% club you truly can and the purpose of these recordings I'm doing is to help you get there but you'll only get there if you start to implement some of the ideas and strategies that I want to share with you in these videos many of you have probably seen this statement before the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over yet expecting a different result traders when it comes to trading if you've given it a go and it's not working you're probably doing the same thing over and over again and when it comes to trading unfortunately from a psychological point of view rather than thinking about what is happening on our charts we are usually remembering past experiences either good or bad and it's usually bad so instead of thinking about this setup and focusing what is before us we are usually remembering past experiences or a setups so that look like this and they fail therefore we don't take it and guess what the one we don't take goes on and turns into a winner so we'll be covering a lot of this head stuff which is really important now this is as of today 
what you've got to really do is draw a line in the sand and say this okay as of today I'm going to start taking copious notes I'm going to really apply myself with the zeal of a crusader just as I had back um, uh, here on this particular slide here consider yourself a pilot review focus review focus what will give you confidence in trading is when you keep your accurate statistics and you start taking notes you start to create self uh, confidence and self trust by doing that and if you go and look at the pilot of course before they take off what are they doing they're going through the checklist once they land they go through the checklist pre and post list we need to do exactly the same if we are serious about this and a lot of this comes down to discipline with discipline discipline is like a muscle the more often you use it the stronger it gets and the more disciplined you have the more self-confidence the more self-trust and I could go on and on about this but it's just so important that you practice discipline and a lot of this comes down to and I need to mention this is that even if you're trading with the simulator and a lot of these points I'm going to be repeating over the following videos because uh, repetition is the mother of skill it's how you learn but uh, so many traders are using simulators and they know that they can just go back and redial the figure in the simulator so therefore say if you go and put a million dollars on the figure because with most simulators on virtually every trading platform now you can dial in uh, how much money you want on the simulator so you might put in there say uh, 100,000 or half a million dollars or whatever it may be what is absolutely critical is that you trade using the simulator as if you were trading real money you only take trades uh, as if you were trading with real money because what you're going to be doing is hard wiring habits and once again if you're a pilot do you think that the airlines allow pilots to go into the simulator and deliberately continually crash land their aircraft or do stupid turns etc they will allow them to do it to, to simulate uh, for some training purposes but limited but they certainly don't want to hardwire habits and it's so important here that you use this simulator as if you're trading with real cash now this is something you're going to hear me you're going to hear me come up with the quotes and um, uh, you'll hear me talk uh, give you quotes all the time and here's one by Jim Rowan the great late Jim Rowan learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job if you work hard on your job you can make a living but if you work hard on yourself you'll make a fortune what does that mean to us as traders we need to basically study trading it's really an ongoing exercise we've got to really become educated when it comes to trading we do that by studying our charts by reading books of other great traders what they do trading techniques we need to become students of the market ongoing here's an excellent book now by the way uh, for those members that are watching uh, this video uh, if you go these videos and if you miss these uh, they're going to now be I've got a, a new file on my Google Drive they're called new recordings so if you go into that folder new recordings you'll see in there that um, uh, I've got links to other videos there to brand new recordings and links to these will also be there now on top of that I'm also and I just reminded me I actually have a PDF uh, copy of this book which I'm just uploading into the Google Drive now so it's new market wizards interviews with top traders these are the sort of books you want to read and study now yes you've got hedge funds managers interviews with them you've got uh, maybe you're not a stock trader uh, maybe you're a future trader so you're going to find that a lot of these interviews maybe not people directly related to the market you're trading but you can still pick up ideas and techniques because it doesn't matter in the end what market you're trading a 34b for an example works on all time frames and, and all markets um, uh, an ABC pattern appears on all time frames and all markets so they across the board but by studying these uh, books and highlighting them and, and learning you can learn from these traders and it's something that a lot of traders are not willing to do for an example in this book you've got Marty Swartz 
who's a world champion now this book's some years old now so Marty I believe now has retired but uh, for, he was a professional analyst who would write reports based upon fundamentals now there are many many uh, stories out there and and you'll always get um, uh, some traders and even I think in market wizards there's a guy that says there he doesn't believe um, uh, that you can make money from technical analysis which is what we do when we're reading charts we usually most of us are technical analysts that is we're not taking well we'll stay out of the market when we get a red flag news announcement but we're looking and trading off chart patterns in our indicators so in this book for an example he said um, uh, uh, the question was asked did you make a complete transit transition from fundamental to technical analysis and Marty said absolutely I always laugh at people who say I've never read met a rich technician I love that it's such an arrogant response I used fundamentals for nine years and got rich as a technician now the point I wanted to bring up here what I find inspiring about someone like Marty and many others share their uh, their journey it took Marty 10 years to succeed now thanks to modern technology <clears throat> what we now know about anchoring and about modeling you can fast track years you can save yourself years Marty had to find it really self taught himself how to trade um, back then he didn't have the power of the internet uh, the, the coaching wasn't around and he tells some great stories about uh, here he was working for a major funds manager and he invested twenty thousand dollars with a guy just designed a computer program um, which had to run on a mainframe and he lost it all and as he said he made that many dumb mistakes and it took him 10 years and now the guy is worth hundreds of millions of dollars what can you learn from that you can do what someone like Marty does and by the way one other very very important point here now, I've got to read this out and what I'll do is I'll print out pages uh, um, uh, out of books like this or I'll photocopy them or with the books if you looked at most of my books here highlighted the tab etc but this is one thing really interesting here's what it says um, from time to time we've alluded to your trading rules can you list them here's his number one rule I always check my charts with the moving averages prior prior to taking a position is the price above or below the moving average that works better than any tool I have I try not to go against the moving averages it is self-destructive why if you are a trend trader of course you want to trade in the direction of the overall trend and when we think about trading trading is really easy when you learn how to trade correctly buy the dips sell the rallies a trend is my friend that is buy or sell in the direction of the overall trend yes uh, one of the issues with, with traders is we have this we all so many of us we um, you know we have to try to pick tops and bottoms <clears throat> it, it's almost like a disease yet it's probably the fastest way for a new trader to lose their account is counter trend trading you must trend trade uh, until you're consistently profitable and this is for both new and existing traders uh, that are watching this recording if you're an existing trader and you are not making money what's so important is that you number one drill down where you're only going to execute one to three trading setups but trend trade only develop that self-trust and by banning yourself from counter trend trading which is what when I coach members uh, um, I have some personal clients that I work with each week and I coach them ongoing professional traders and the, and when they first start they are banned from counter trend trading and the end result with some of my traders is they say they'll never ever counter trend trade ever again so just something I really want you to consider so the trend is your friend so what we're going to do now is just have a look at one trading lesson before we move on so let's go and have a look at the charts well one thing I wanted to show is this this is something I found on the internet a better diagram than what I could have done so if we look at the dark blue line the dark blue line is is a long-term chart it's what we call our AC our anchor chart by trading with an entry chart that is a lower time frame what we're effectively doing is trading in the direction of the higher time frame but we're waiting for a pullback or a retracement 
then we take our entry now this is going to be one of the most important lessons lesson number one I want to get across to either new or experienced traders that are not where they should be I want you to set up your anchor chart and start trading only in the direction of your anchor chart so let's go and have a look at a chart itself now what I've got set up before you this is the yen futures contract so JY on uh, trade station this is JY I'm just trying to think of a symbol on uh, it's a different is it six six e or I can't remember exactly for ninja trader but it really doesn't matter what market it is so what we're looking at here is three time frames now I generally trade with two some traders like to use uh, three time frames so what I've got is the the chart on the left here is my anchor is my sorry my entry chart then I've got my anchor chart now these time frames are three times higher and I won't go into the reasoning for that in this recording but very very important now this is by the way an 89 tick a 233 and a 610 so let me just explain this they are approximately three times higher um, because I'm using fib numbers only because so many of my traders use Fibonacci numbers but quite frankly you could use an, a 100 tick a 300 and a 900 uh, it doesn't would it make any difference I seriously doubt it um, but I use fib numbers just because of so many of my members do so professional traders particularly so I will usually just have two charts up some love and swear by having three so what I'll do is have my anchor chart set up like this on the right and I'm only going to be trading in the direction of the trend on my anchor chart unless I'm going for a uh, counter trend trade now I also don't refer to the indicators on the lower part of the chart and let me just quickly cover this um, indicators some traders love to trade naked what we call naked without indicators and quite frankly the EMAs it's all you really need as you master the art of day trading however I will use my platinum what I call my platinum MACD for my counter trend trades for uh, angulation etc uh, and I'll use the two smooth stochastic I'll use here for my slingshots because it works well and in a very strong trend where I might be getting any retracement back to my EMAs the slingshot will get me in because it works so why use it because it works yes it might be lagging because 99% of indicators are derivatives of price so they're lagging slightly however they're tools so I'll use a combination of both of both uh, pure price action trading where I'm just taking entries purely off the charts and others I will use indicators so it really depends on your style now remember in experienced traders if you are a pure price action trader you should have the mindset of okay what can I learn from this how can I use this in actual fact all traders must have that mindset so very very important is that you have a higher time frame and you only trade in the direction if you're a trend trader which of course you've agreed to that haven't you if you're a new trader or if you're experienced and struggling you are only going to trade with the trend aren't you of course you are so very very important you have your anchor chart set up and we're going to be covering a lot more about anchor charts in future sessions so I mentioned what Marty Swartz's rule was there most important trading rules for the master day trader is what side of the trending EMAs am I on and members of the day traders fast track program you're probably sick of me hearing this or, or sorry sick of me saying this follow the gold follow the gold follow the gold you hear me say this every recording follow the gold EMA we have a uh, and for the general public we've got an EMA that we call the gold we follow the gold if you're above the gold you're going to be it is above the trending gold EMA you're going to be long if you're below the trending uh, uh, EMA that is trending dead of a downside you're going to be short it is just so important that you do that 
so traders that's the end of this recording so we're 31 minutes in I've covered an enormous amount of information very very quickly but I promise you go back and start taking notes as I said I'm going to be recording two to three of these each week please feel free to share the links to these as we're going to get really into some meat and potatoes as I cover these sessions in the future I'm going to be showing you some charts from some of my members that are absolutely killing it uh, using my strategies in the market I'm going to be giving you every single session some strategies and ideas that will make you money and we're going to be really drilling down on some great things such as neurolinguistics and training your brain and training yourself how to become a better trader how to develop or sorry how to remove how to smash those bad habits that many traders have developed over time because it's just so important because as I say in trading is that 90% of psychology 5% is money management and only 5% is the strategy itself so what we've got to really do is really work harder on your head stuff from what we do on the setups so please feel free to drop me an email so you can email me directly at trader at I'm a day trader uh, become a member it's only $197 you get mine all of my setups over it's now over a hundred hours of videos but I don't want to make this into a big advertisement you can read about it but traders uh, expect the next video in the next two or three days and I'll see you then or you'll hear from me then thank you traders